everyone. How are you doing? I am Markel from Kate here. I'm at home due to COVID. Um, so welcome. So excited to have you here. Um, talk about cloth diapers. I know there's going to be tons of questions. So um, Amy will be answering questions. Her name is Amy Shore. She has a King Care logo by her name too. Um, so if you have any questions and she um, sees she will be helping me answer them as I go live. So welcome. Here we go. So let's just dive into cloth diapers um, and our function. So we are based out of Golden, Colorado. Chad and Julie um, own the company. Their second daughter had really bad rashes and they found out they couldn't use disposables. So Julie decided um, to cloth diapers. That seemed to be the answer, but she just wasn't loving everything that was on the market. This was around 14 years ago. So she wasn't loving everything that came out of the market. Um, and she decided I can just sew my own and it became more and more popular. And that is how we got um, to today. So let me talk about our Rumparoos. This is what we're known for. This is the original Rumparoos. This is what she's created at her kitchen table 14 years ago and it's still super popular today. So here is the shell of the diaper. Let me talk about the front really quick. So our Rumparoos is a one size pocket diaper. So let's talk about the first part of the diaper where it says one size. A one size cloth diaper means there's one diaper but it has four sizes, so it's gonna fit all the way from newborn to potty training. It can do that because of these different snap settings. So the best way for me to show this to you is here on our packaging. You can see here, there's newborn, small, medium, and large. So I'm gonna change the set on your child's weight. So that's how it can fit all the way from the itty bitty newborn. Let me show you how small it can get here. So here is the newborn all the way up to the large. Thank you for your patience as I snap this together really quick. And here is the large right here. So you can see how small it can get and how big. So it starts fitting around six pounds. It's the smallest diaper you can get on the market for a pocket diaper. So six pounds all the way up to 35 plus pounds. Amy, our customer service rep, has gotten on her 44 pound toddler. So it'll definitely fit all the way up. So that's the exterior for the sizes. And then you heard me say pocket diaper. This is where the absorbency comes in to the diaper with our 6R soaker. So the 6R soaker is going to fit here into the pocket of the diaper, creating the different absorbency levels. Before I get to that, I wanna talk really quick about our interior of our diapers. So the exterior, this beautiful print of water you're seeing is made out of TPU. It's, it's not chemically bonded, it's heat bonded. So there's no chemicals used to create this TPU laminate. And then the interior is this beautiful micro chamois. So um, that is a hyperallergenic stay dry material. So not only is your little one not going to have any rashes because of the hyperallergenic part of it, but they're also not going to feel wet, which is really wonderful, especially if they're sleeping and they're a newborn or they're really sensitive to feeling wet and they don't like it. They're, your little one will not feel wet. So huge plus there. You can also see here there's these two gussets. These are called our double gussets. They are double gussets because um, there's two of them. So there's two barriers that the poop or the waste has to go through um, to get out. So no um, blowouts as long as your diaper fits correctly. There's this back elastic and these two barriers. The double gussets are exclusive to Kanga Care, so you can only um, get the double gussets through our brand. So that double barrier patent, super proud of over here at Kanga Care, but you can only get that here. So there is the interior. Now let's talk about the absorbency. Standard um, with our rumper roots are our six R soakers. These come together because you can mix and match them. Let me snap this in here really quick. So they snap together for all these different um, customized ways. So microfiber is really absorbent. It's really wonderful to have for newborns. So for the first eight weeks, your baby is constantly peeing because they have, let's say this is a floodgate. 
And the floodgates open all the time. They have no bladder control, whatever. If they have to pee, it just comes right out. By the time that they're eight weeks, they're peeing just as much as when they're six months old. And that's because they've started to learn to control that floodgate a little bit more. So that's when we're really going to start um, caring about our absorbency is at the beginning when there's microfiber. So you, um, since it's quick, the quickest to absorb, you're definitely going to want the microfiber to hurry up and soak up those quick newborn peas. So let me stop this diaper really quick and show you the different um, settings. So here are the different rise settings I was talking about. Here are the different six R um, soaker settings. So this is actual packaging. This is how you would receive your diaper. Um, you can see here there's all these different ways you can stuff the diaper. I'm going to put this diaper on the medium setting. This is where we find little ones to be for the longest periods of time. So you'll be the newborn when they're really tiny, the small, and then we find that they're in the medium the longest because that's just where that weight variation um, stays the longest with your little one. So I'm just gonna show you the medium. So here I am, medium setting. I have two rise snaps showing. You can see here, isn't this part really pretty? It's wonderful, oh, I love it. Um, and then I am going to do the boy doubler. So why do we call it the boy doubler? Because you want more absorbency in the front for your little boy. So you can see here, Boy doubler, so I'm gonna stuff this diaper really quick. You can see how it works. How am I doing on time? Okay, got a lot to talk about. Gotta make sure I'm staying on time. So I'm gonna stuff this diaper, and this is what you would put on baby. So you have the exterior that's waterproof. You need two things for a cloth diaper. You need absorbency, and you need something that's gonna make it waterproof. So we have our six-hour soaker in here that's gonna make it absorbent. And then on the exterior here, we have the um. Oh, waterproof TPU. So this is what you would put on baby. You get a good get a good nice fit. This right here, this outer elastic is going to go in the underwear line. You're going to have a perfect fit for your little one. You're going to wait and change them every two to three hours. When it comes time to change your little one, you can pull out the insert just a little bit. This helps with wash and care. I'll get to that here in a second. Take this diaper. Here I'm showing you roam free in our wet bag mini. This is where you put the soiled diapers, and you're going to put that in here. Real quick, let me talk about the wet bag. So this wet bag is the TPU laminate that we know and love that I just keep bragging about. This helps keep the smell contained inside. No moisture can get out, and no moisture can get in. That's a huge plus, too. And then we have our industrial strength zipper right here, so it helps keep all the smell inside. It's also a 3, three um, 3D moon shape right here, so when it is open, it hangs really nice on any doorknob, any changing station. It fits really nice if you're going to be on the go. You can hang it behind you on your um, on your headrest in your car, um, in the bathroom. There's just so many places. You should, wet bags have 101 uses besides just cloth diapering. I'll talk about that a little bit. After I get done with the main stage, I'm going to go into our booth and keep chatting with you if you want to follow me over there. And I can keep chatting about why we love the wet bag. So back to the cloth diaper. So we recommend that you wash the cloth diapers every two to three days. You want to do that so um, you're not getting any ammonia buildup and you're really keeping those diapers as fresh as possible. So let's say we used our diapers. You need 24 diapers to cloth diaper. That is available in our all-in bundles. For the expo, we have up to 35% off everything you need to cloth diapers. So it's a, it's a steal of a deal. <laughs> They're better than our Black Friday deals are amazing. So that's um, something we can talk about a little bit more, but um, you need your 24 diapers to fully cloth diaper, but it's time for wash day. So I'm going to open up my wet bag. This is going to be full of diapers. I'm going to flip it in to my washer and I'm going to do my first wash. So my first wash is going to be cold water because that's just going to get all of the poop off of your diapers, all of the waste, just really get them clean. Your second wash, your main wash, is what's really going to wash those diapers. And this is where it gets really exciting. You can add your little one's clothes, socks, um, onesies, shirts, all their little adorable items into the uh, into that main wash. And you don't have to worry about any poop getting on it or anything because those diapers have already had that first um, pre-wash to get all of that off. So it's really not an extra little laundry. You just fill that up. Um, you don't have to do anything to the diapers. You can kind of put your hand in there and fluff them up fluff up the diapers so they're not like stuck to the side, and then you're gonna wash um, your diapers. Then for dry, you can just hang dry them. Or, um, for the shell of the diaper, 
So as your diaper gets washed, these two can, they agitate apart. So you can hang dry these or tumble dry low, and then these can be um, dried on medium heat. Now I know I'm gonna get the question. That sounds great, washing hair. I, I, I can do laundry. However, what do I do with the poop? So if your little one is exclusively breastfed, you just think of it as organic material. That poop can go right into the washer. No problem. Easy peasy. And think of it as like having some mud on your jeans. If you're having a formula fed baby or they start to have solids, that's what we kind of call the peanut butter poop. <laughs> um, has like this peanut butter texture to it. That's when we, um, it doesn't last forever. Um, it's kind of the weirdest poop. <laughs> you always think like newborn poop's kind of like aggressive to deal with. Um, but the peanut butter poop can, um, is it, we don't call it the ploppable poop. So you can just flip this and sit out, put it in your toilet a little bit. It's fine. I I personally, I have a 10 month old, so I'm knee deep in the cloth diapering stages right now. Um, especially with the peanut butter poop, we're kind of phasing out of that since he's eating more solids. But you put it in there. I've never got my hands wet with poop or any, it's super easy. You just pop it in, swish it around and it comes off. And then I would fold it back together and put it in the wet bag. It takes me like two seconds um, to do it. And it's really wonderful because the poop's all contained. We have never had a blowout with our little guy. Um, if you talk to other cloth diapering parents, they can um, say the same thing. As long as you have a good um, fit, you will not have blowouts. And I much prefer to have poop contained within the diaper than all over. So, and I'm sure you feel the exact same way. So there is my quick rundown. I want to see if there's any other questions that I may be missing. All righty. Oh my goodness. Let me go up. So let's talk about why, why would we want a cloth diaper? I see some of these. Does a diaper lose? Okay, I see multiple. So I'm going to do the first one I saw. So what first you're gonna save up to three thousand dollars, which is a heck of a deal to save. Um, I mean you, and that's just with your first child. So with our bundles to all in cloth they bring, the price is four hundred and forty dollars. And I know that's a huge sticker price right at the front um to to pay off. We do have Sezzle, so you can do the four payment interest free um payments which is a great deal. But you're gonna spend that four hundred and forty dollars and that's it on cloth diapering. You may get a little addicted and buy a few prints that get released here and there. I'm not going to lie. But that's all you do need. You need your 24 diapers. You get the wet bags. You get the pail liners. You get a changing pad I can talk about here in a minute if I have time. Um, so you get all these wonderful products, everything you need to cloth diaper for that 440 So that ends up saving you $3,000 just with your first kit. If you cloth diaper with your second kit and you're using that first stash, you get to save all that money. You don't have to use that 440 again. You just get to use the stash you already have. So save money. Really great for baby skin. There's no chemicals coming in contact with your little one's skin um, that you would have with disposables, which is really, really great. It's really great for the environment. You're not adding anything to the landfill, um, which is huge. I think we're all becoming more cautious just with everything that's going on. Um, so those are definitely the main reasons. Um, save money, good for the baby, and wonderful um, for the environment. Um... So yes, you want to start with the 24 are all in bundle. I think Amy is helping me um, post that link um, for the bundles. Yes, she is. Um, if you have any other questions, our ch fa Facebook chat group is a really great place. I know like, when you hear directly from the company, I just was going through this last year trying to like find what's the best of the best for my baby. And of course, a company is going to think theirs is the best which we do. Um, you can reach out to our uh, to different moms on our families, all walks of life on our Facebook group, and they can give you true, honest answers um, about what's worked for them and um, what have you, um, just to kind of get like a non-biased opinion. Any certain detergent I can wash. So we do have recommended detergents. This is really important. You want to have good detergent that has strong enzymes. So we have like, um, we recommend Tide, Tide Free and Gentle, Gain, um, there's a seventh generation, I think it's like the Pro Power Plus, I hope I'm saying that um, correct. We do have, that one's plant-based, so if that's something you want, and um, we do have tons of options and we will work with you. So we're kind of like your little gift with purchase when you cloth diaper. Um, so I'm Raquel, you'll see me, I do all of our marketing social media, so you'll see my face a lot, like on our Facebook page and Instagram, um, helping 
answer questions and Amy's really, really involved on our chat group and she does all of our customer care. So if you send an email to hello at candycare.com, you're going to come in contact with Amy. Um, so we're a small, but very, very mighty team. And we're here to help you all the way from newborn to potty training. So if you have a question about washing care, fit or function, you can ask on our Facebook group. You can reach out to us on our social media, or you can email hello at candycare.com and Amy can help you. So this kind of leads me into the wash routine. So there's all these different kinds of wash uh, machines out there. If you do decide to cloth diaper, you can send your washer panel to Amy and she will give you a customized wash routine just for your um, machine. And you're like, well, that's kind of seems complicated. We're just trying to go a step ahead or a step, step ahead, step above and give you the best customer service you can and give, just give you a customized wash routine. So you make sure those diapers are getting pristine and clean and then they're going to last you for, um, all your children that you plan to have or just your one, whatever your family planning is. Can you put the flats and covers in the washer? Yes. Um, um, so shells get, can get hung dry or they need to be tumble dried on low. And then the inserts, um, right here, the in, so this is on tumble dry low or hang dry. And then these are medium um, heat for the inserts. Um, do you start to um, get fuzz balls? Nope. So I actually have a diaper here that we've been using. Um, Wander is a pretty good one to show you. So Wander has been in my stash since the beginning with my little guy, and we use this weekly, and there's no fuzz balls. It looks – I use this weekly. It probably goes on him every three days. Um, and I wash it, and you can see it's just as pristine as can be. Um have a good solid wash routine and it looks brand new. Um, breast milk poop is water soluble. Yes. So you can just put it right into the washer. Am I missing any? Yep. Never have a blowout with cloth diapers. I'd much rather have it contained. Ooh. Um, did I answer your best soap questions? Definitely tide, tide free and gentle gain. Um, so if you want a, a plant based seventh generation, um, power plus. I know that's a liquid. I don't know. Does Amy, does that one come in a powder? I can totally talk about the different types of diapers. I I'm going to have a few minutes to do that. So you can definitely cloth diaper with prefolds and covers. King and Care has them. Um, it's an option that we have. We don't have an exclusive bundle for the um, expo where you save the 35% off, but we do have prefolds and covers available. It's a total doable option. We have tons of moms who do choose that route. Um, does it take an adjustment period to use cloth diapers? I don't think so. It fits as long as you have a good fit. Um, a lot of people kind of get worried about the poop and then like the extra load of laundry. Really, it's not an extra load of laundry. You're doing that pre-wash, then you're just going to add your little one's clothes in there and you're good to go. Um, I'm, I'm a working mom. I get to stay home, thankfully, with my little boy um, during the weeks too. And I've never, it's kind of relaxing. It kind of makes me sit down when I have to stuff the diapers. I have to sit down, stuff them. I, my mind just kind of stops. I, I personally enjoy those moments of just pausing. Um, yeah, so the diaper does fit as the baby grows. So I'm just going to show you on the packaging really quick. You can see here's newborn. This is would start around six pounds when you can start using the diapers all the way up to 35 plus pounds. So one diaper has four sizes so you need 24 of these diapers but they will fit all the way from newborn to potty training oh they're so comfortable to wear and breathable they're actually more breathable than um disposables because there's no plastic or anything in them um crazy breathable especially with our interior this is micro chamois so it's hyperallergenic material um on your little one so it's the um oh sorry got a little nose itch. Um, so it's really great to go against your baby's skin. They don't feel wet um, and it's hyperallergenic. Um, okay, the question with swimming, is there an option? Okay, so we do have some swim diapers. They are the little learners, but if you do want to use Rumperoos here, two cloth night or for swimming, you just don't use the insert and you can put the shell on your little one. The only concern we have with that is we want to let you know that um, the TPU with over and over with tons of use of chlorine 
it can start to wear down this TPU. So I would recommend buying a cover off of our website. This is a one size cover in platinum. This is what would go over those pre that we were just talking about. I don't want to throw too much at your face. So I haven't been trying to talk about every product, but you can use these covers. They have no absorbency, which is what you need in a swim diaper. And these work perfect as a um, swim diaper, or you can buy our little learners. They're potty training pants, but they can also double as a um, little, uh, um, as a swim diaper. Um, thanks for posting the link, Amy. Get a changing pad, two wet bags, a pail liner. So you get two of these wet bags. And then our changing pad here, oh, our changing pad is like a flat diaper. I love these. They're great if you're a nursing mom. They're super great if um, you can use them after your little one is done cloth diapering. Um, gosh, there's just so many uses for a changing pad. But I'm going to go over it really quick. So the top layer is that same hyperallergenic material that we were talking about in the rump roofs. So it's stay dry, hyperallergenic, but it lets moisture seep through. So there's a middle layer in here of the microfiber. So this changing pad is absorbent. So if your little one has an accident, especially if you have a little boy and they squirt all over, the changing pad's going to absorb it, but it's not going to get on. Let's say you have a bed right here. Um, it's not going to get on the bed or your great grandma's beautiful quilt um, because there's this layer of the TPU that's exterior. So it's literally a flat diaper. It has the waterproof material. It um, is absorbent. And then there's the micro chamois stay dry on top. They're, and they're a really good size. They, they'll fit your bigger babies to wonderful size. They come in lots of different fun colors. This is Castle, our darker gray. Um, so everything you need to cloth diaper is in those all-in bundles. If you kind of want to dabble in cloth diapering, we do have the Do It, which comes with 10 diapers, or the Try It, which comes with four. What if I have a chunky baby? Will they fit bigger babies and toddlers? Yes, they definitely will. If you are having a hard time with fit, you know, like this diaper is not fitting, please reach out to Amy. Um, there's little tricks and tips that we can help um, give you to make sure that diaper is going to be fitting the entire time. I was going to say, our diapers are designed around chunky babies. Julie, the designer and creator, um, the CEO of King Care, and she's the one who designed the rumper rose. <laughs> her um, little boy, he was a chunk. She has the best pictures of him, and he's just like this little roly-poly. He's a very chunky baby, and she got him to work great with no leak issues. Um, all right. Let me see. Am I missing... Diaper cream, you definitely want to make sure you're using a cloth diaper safe cream. They will say that on the packaging. Um, you don't want to use anything that's not um, that's not cloth diaper safe. It will create a barrier and the diaper will start to repel. And so you don't want that. The stains do come out. Um, I So breast, um, oh, I only have a few more minutes. Okay, I'm going to go really fast. So um, breastfed babies or just newborn poop just can kind of have a color to it. And you may be like, hey, this seems to kind of be staining. What's wrong? You can set this in this and not in the indirect sunlight and the stains will come out like that. Like, I mean, like within a half hour. Um, and I only had a few that ever did that. And I could tell that's just kind of, I could tell when he pooped, what kind of poop was going to, I don't even want to say it stained. I just would wash it and there'd be like a little, I'm like, oh, that's just not super pristine white. I'd lay it in the sun, indirect sunlight for a little bit and it was out easy peasy. But we're here to help you. We will personalize your wash routine and get it perfect for you so you don't have any problems with fit, function, wash, and care. Amy and I are your gals. We become your, your little helpers. <laughs> All righty. Anything else? It is most, a lot of people do say that your little one does potty train faster um, in cloth diapers. Yes. Okay, I am going to um, get off of here. My time's up. I'm going to head over to our booth though. So if you still have questions, um, I will, I know I didn't get to the, all the different types. My time's still limited. It's hard to talk about all those. So um, I will do that over here in the booth. If you want to come join me over the King Care booth, I'll talk to you, chat with you here for a little bit. So thank you for joining me today and congratulations to everyone. I know this is such an exciting time in your life and cherish it, bundle it. It's amazing. All right. I'll talk to you all later. Toodles.